Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So in today's video, we are doing the Moody book tag. I was tagged a few weeks ago by Life is like a novel. I will link her channel and video down in the description down below. You should go check her out. And I am finally sitting down to film this video. So this is actually a pretty fun tag. Thank you so much for tagging me and I'm gonna get started right away with the questions. So question number one is, do you consider yourself a mood reader? Which I'm not sure exactly what that means, what they mean by mood reader. Is it like you have to be in the mood to read, to able to be able to read, then yes, I am a mood reader. Or do they mean genre? Like different genre, you have to be in the mood for different for a specific genre. Then I mean, yes, also. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I... Physically reading, I have to be in the mood for sure. Even audiobook, I cannot just listen to audiobook any time of the day. I have to be in the mood for it. And for genres, I do think some of... I'm always going to be in the mood for like a fantasy book or a romance book. And other genre like thrillers or contemporary or horror, then, then I have to be in the mood to read them. Um, and I do think I like to mix my genres, so I cannot read like five fantasy um, back to back and or like five romance book back to back. I like to switch my genres, so it, it always I'm always reading something different. So um, then yeah, I would consider myself a mood reader, I guess. Question number two, do you set TBRs and do you stick to them? Okay, so I do set TBRs. I have TBRs video here on my channel. Um, I only set about four books for my like official TBR each month. Um, it's kind of funny because I see all of those like TBR games which are really really cool to watch I feel like. But when you do a TBR game you have no idea what book you're gonna pick for that month and for me I couldn't do that. My TBRs are set like months in advance. I, I like work almost two months in advance. So once the month starts I am so ready to read the books though so it's like easier for me to want to read the books. I feel like TBR games are really really fun but then what if you pick up a book that you don't want to read that month you know and then I have loose TBR in my head like for the week but those are like loosely those are like loose TBR I'm not they're not set in stone I can change them whenever I want but I do set TBR for the month I think it's easier also for me when to have an idea of the books I want to read next so once I finish a book, I always have something in mind that I want to pick up. So that's my thing. Question number three, do, do books affect you emotionally? Yes, very much. Um, I am very much someone who gets affected by books and like moods of books. So if it's a funny book, then I'll be happy and upbeat. If I read sad books, I get really sad and depressed. I'm like that with pretty much everything, books, movies, even music. Music for me does the same thing as well. So yeah books definitely affects my emotion. Uh, question number four. When you feel sad, do you read sad, happy or neutral books? I will read happy books, mostly romance book. I don't know why. When I when I get like sad or depressed, I'll um, read uh, upbeat books. I'll try to read like fun romance books. Um, question number five. Most often, most often, do you use reading to escape, learn, or critically reflect? For me, it's escaping. I don't read um, too much non-fiction books, which I kind of want to get into, but I'm not. I don't read that much non-fiction books. Um, <clears throat> most of the books that I read are fantasy or romance books, so it's really much. It's really for escapism that I read them. Um, I do read a few contemporary books where they have reflection on our society and our world and that, but don't, I don't read them too much, so yeah. Uh, question number six is, what is a book that made you laugh out loud? Laugh out loud, I don't think I have a book um, that made me like really, really laugh. I do when I read The House in the Syrian Sea by TJ Klum, that was a pretty funny book. Like There were scenes that I would giggle to myself while I was reading them. So that's um, a pretty funny-ish book, but it wouldn't make me laugh out loud. I don't think I have a book that just made me cry out of laughter. I don't think so. Not on top of my head, so. <clears throat> Question number seven. What is a book that made you cry? If you don't cry, 
one that moves you. So the last book that made me cry was um, Adi LaRue. The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue, that book made me cry so much, especially in the end. I was okay up until like the last two pages, I think. I just, I just bawled my eyes out after that. My boyfriend had to come in my bedroom, in our bedroom, I guess, to make sure I was okay because I was just crying so much. Because I just, yeah, the last two pages just got me tears. It was, it was kind of bad, but I love that book, so yeah. Question number eight, it, what is a book that, uh, what is a book you didn't even know how you felt about after? Um, that would be what's called The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. Honestly, that book is a thriller book, and I was kind of, I didn't know how I felt about that book. I didn't know if I liked it or I didn't like it, and then, um, it's a thriller book, which I think was okay, but I guess every single plot twist that they were, so that was, that kind of defeated the purpose of reading a thriller book, and then there were some aspects that I didn't really like, and after I watched Gabby Reed's, um, uh, what's it called, like, live stream that she did on that book, because it was a book of, book two, book, uh, pick of the month, I kind of understood why I didn't like it as much as I, I thought I did, um, but yeah, by the end I was just like, I read a book, I didn't feel anything, I wasn't surprised, I wasn't, it wasn't intense, it was the page turner, it was kind of just a meh book for me, so. Question number nine, are you more likely to read on a sunny or cloudy day? Both, I don't really mind. Um, I can read inside if it's a, cl a cloudy day and I can read outside when it's a sunny day. I live in Canada, so we don't, we don't have too much of those really warm sunny days. Um, so I do, when it is like really warm and sunny outside, I do try to go read outside. Um, but I can read wherever I want. But I can read wherever. It doesn't matter. Like I read wherever. I read in the bus. I read in the subway. I read in my, in my bed. I read anywhere. So I don't really mind. Question number 10 is, do you usually set the mood when you read music, light, smell, etc.? Yes, yes, and yes. Um, I am very much a mood setter in general, especially if I know I'm gonna sit down and read for a few hours. Then I will put a ASMR on YouTube, I will light the candle, like a woodwick candle, I will put, um, I'll listen to music sometimes, I even sometimes listen to videos while I read, I... But I do really like uh, setting a mood, so like dimming the light and putting a candle and all that jazz I actually kind of like that so and then the last question is can you leap from book to book or do you need buffer buffer time between I can leap for <clears throat> I can leap from book to book pretty much um I mean I do get some book hangovers sometimes which I then I need maybe a few days to recover from a book but normally I can just finish a book and start another one at all time. I'm kind of weird and I like having at least a book started at all time. So if I finish a book at night then I will at least read one chapter of my next book um, because I'm weird like that. It's also why I like switching between like fantasy and romance book because if I read like a really heavy fantasy book and again I can go switch to a really fun easy romance book right after so it kind of helps me in a way to like just read books after books I think. So those were all the questions I answered. I think I answered that pretty quickly, I think. Uh, hopefully it's not a too, hopefully it's not a too long video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will tag a few people. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna tag uh, Six of Books. I'm gonna tag Denny Mary Reads, which are kind of my person that I tagged all the time and then I just discovered this new French booktuber so I'm gonna tag the French book dreamer um so yeah those are the person that I'm gonna tag um thank you guys so much for watching that's pretty much it for this video and um I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time